I'm Anil Kumar. I have taken up some test problems to discuss on relations and functions. The question here is state domain and range for x plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 3. Now at times when you get this kind of an equation it becomes really difficult for students to figure out how to proceed. Now in such cases what you need to do is you need to isolate y and then you get the function right so we are given x plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 3 so let us isolate y so first step should be y minus 1 whole square equals to 3 minus x and then we have to write square root right so y sorry y minus 1 equals to square root of 3 minus x and that is whenever you do square root you have to do plus and minus and then you can say y equals to take one on this side so plus and minus square root of 3 minus x plus 1 let me rearrange this uh, and write now we could take minus common so we get x minus 3 plus 1 reason for this is that you can understand the transformations and really helps you to sketch the graph now this is a relation which is not a function since for different values of x you could get plus and minus means two values of y so so we can say this relation is not a function okay this is very clear reason is we have two values right plus and minus now if you need to really sketch this you can always take some values of x and then sketch now the question here is find domain and range for this particular relation now without sketching also you can find domain and range let us see how right now you can see that in the equation y has all the values 1 plus and minus something right so as far as range is concerned we know that range is all real numbers now it's tricky to find the domain how to find domain for such a function now to find domain within the square root we know it should be non-negative right so so that means 3 minus x should be greater than equal to 0 let me take x on this side so 3 is greater than equals to x and therefore we can write domain for this function as x belongs to real numbers where x is less than equals to 3 right so so that is how the domain is so even without sketching you can write domain range that's very important to understand it saves time now at times in the test paper you may be required to sketch so let me add this part state domain range for this function and sketch okay so to sketch this function you can always take few values in this domain and do it or you could transform the square root function to all the transformations and then sketch it right so what you'll find here is that from the origin this point moves to let's go with this three units to the right right three units to the right one unit up and this is a reflection correct so it is three units to the right one unit up and it's kind of kind of like this is that okay so i'm not making a perfect graph here but just showing you uh, approximate values so this is this point here is three and one correct you can always substitute zero here to calculate square root of 3 plus 1 and 1 plus minus so this will be this will be 1 plus square root of 3 and here will be 1 minus square root of 3 so these are your y intercepts right anyway so that is approximate sketch for the given function you can always make a table of values and uh, draw a more accurate graph but I hope you understand the concept here steps involved are isolate y so once you isolate y you understand that this relation is not a function do you understand now after that you can find domain and range domain within the square root it has to be 
non-negative so that gives us a domain and range is very clear it's all real numbers since there is no restriction on range i hope that helps thank you and all the best